Are you seriously going to compare the glorious, selfless calling of engineering with the bunko bush league chicanery of art? Artists aren't tortured by V and V plans or spec reviews. They don't have to submit themselves to the accountability of a compiler. A canvas is never going to fail or crash structurally just because it's ugly. Oh, and you're not supposed to say ugly. It's supposed to be abstract. To get into computer college, I had to get good grades and score well on my SATs. Art school? Heck, if you've got the tuition and can draw a turtle on the back of a napkin, you're in. Then there's concept art, which we engineers can't stand. Let's say you're walking through a park and you see an oversized toilet on top of a pile of rutabagas and you quietly mutter under your breath, what the hell is that? It's the same emotion I get when I see a concast used to call an API that was never meant to be called by idiots, Carl. But maybe I'm being unfair. I mean, there are some interesting parallels between technology and art. Artists have graffiti, whereas we have open source software. The purpose of art is to elicit emotion. Can software do that? Sure. Just the other day, when I saw a go-to statement in the middle of my exception safe callback, I almost screamed. Now, if there's one thing that strikes fear into the heart of all engineers, it's feature creep. Can artists understand feature creep? Absolutely. I guarantee that more than one of Salvador Dali's works was ruined by, oh, just one more melty clock. And of course, once you realize that you have one too many melty clocks, there's no SCC revert button. Oh no, you gotta turn that clock into a pizza before the gallery requests a delivery, or you're going hungry. Artists, we too devote our lives to a labor of love. But of course, we have limits. You've never heard of a starving engineer before. At least not until this recession. So I guess maybe, just maybe, engineers and artists can get along. Tell you what, you leave the technology to us, and we'll leave all the pretty coloring and ear chopping up to you. Hey, you can find more videos at anengineeringmind.com, or you can follow us on Twitter at engineeringmind.